welcome back to Archetype Origins, guys. Today we are in Taiwan looking at AK Mods Studio. So let's take a step inside and see what's here. For those of you who don't know, AK Mods is a creator out of Taiwan. He does a lot of artistic mods, so still does PC builds, but they're more leaning towards the artistic side of things. So we'll take a look around the studio and then we'll show you some of the mods that he's done. As you can see, the space is quite spacious. So the studio is actually shared between AK Mods, Mark, and M. MJ Studio. So let's take a look around. As you can see, AK has been working very hard in this space. So the space is shared. So we have AK Mods over here. Super organized, a lot of attention to detail. You can see all of his tools are super well organized. Everything is clean. I almost tripped on the stool, but that's okay. Screws are all labeled here. A lot of screws. I thought we had a lot of screws, but we don't. I think we have like this many. <laughs> if you like to build PCs, it's like a playground here. I think you could play all day. We've been here since the morning, probably a couple hours, and we still haven't played enough. All of the worktops and workstations, AK, Mark, and MJ had worked on and built themselves. So it's super neat to see like if you have dedication and interest in something, what you can build. So. Have you ever had a concept of a PC that you want to build, but like you cannot find exactly what you need at the perfect length, in the perfect color? AK makes his own cables, which is literally insane. So this whole section is for making cable extensions. So any color, any length, whatever, AK just makes them himself. So who needs to purchase cable extensions? And here is like the painting area. So they do a lot of their painting here. There's enough room in here for a dance party. Okay, over here we have the Cyberpunk 2077 Deconstruction. So this one won the award for best craftsmanship in the 2019 Cooler Master competition. So as you can see, very creative, a lot of hard work put into each of the small details. In this cooler is not snacks. It's also a PC. So this one is to play some zombie inspired game. And you can see, I can't open it all the way, but there's a monitor inside. So this whole thing, so this whole thing can take away and go to play games. Grab and go, stop out. <laughs> This one behind me competed in the 2023 DCMM competition in Germany and received multiple awards, including Best Newcomer and Best Craftsmanship. The case itself is inspired by a sci-fi medical device. So you can see from its shape and its little cross on the front that it's designed to look like it would fly around and assist people who needed medical assistance. This was displayed at last year's Computex, and unfortunately, we were not cool enough to make it to Computex last year, but we are here this year. Um, but when this powers on, these little wings will come out, so it looks like it's about ready to fly around and help people. So cute! Do you guys recognize this one? Counter-Strike 2 fans? Leave your comments in the comment section below. So this one, if you don't know, is inspired by Counter-Strike 2. So the PC component is actually inside. I would love to power it on for you guys. Maybe we'll find a video to add on to the side. But this component will come up. And to power on the computer, you have this remote with a secret password. And then the switch to power on the PC. So cool! This one here is sponsored by Club for last year's Computex, but it's designed to look like a purification system. So a little space age vibe. And you can see it has a lot of different components, but it's really cute. As a screen, it's got a lot of different components. It used to have a mister, and then you can see the reservoirs on the side. We'd love to turn on the mister, but it's out of juice, so it's sleeping. That's okay. But still, the vibe is really cool. So, if you're watching this video on June 4th, 2024, then you're one of the first people to see these PCs. So, these are what AK Mod will be displaying at this year's Computex in Taiwan. So, we are the first humans to set eyes on most of these. So, let's take a look. 
So I'm sure you guys have seen the Sinister case floating around the internet before. So this is in collaboration with Clev. As you can see, the design is very like exploded view kind of vibe. So all the pieces are outside, open concept. And I think it's a really clean look. There's a lot of precision and a lot of, a lot of tubing. Fully water cooled. There's even pipes running inside. I think the overall look is really unique. I'm sure you've seen this floating around online. It's been reposted a lot. Next one, we have the thermal tech case. You might have seen us build in this case before, but this one is really special because he has all of these modifications on the side. So each piece is CNC acrylic. And I think it really adds to the case. It definitely looks more like some type of package. Also water cold. He has a lot of attention to detail. He's added all of these like little stickers on the side. And even the power button has been modded with AK's logo on the top. So a lot of attention to detail. I really like the satin finish that he chose. And he even added the accent colors inside as well. This is an up and coming brand. So it's TRYX that sponsored this build. The case is by Modable. It's just a prototype. We think that AK might have one of the only ones in the world, but it's a really unique case. So keep on a lookout. There might be one similar to this prototype on the market eventually. This build is actually sponsored by TRYX, so you can really see that the, re the AIO is really showcased here. The AIO features this uh, wraparound display. We'll see it booted up while we're at Computex as well. This one's my favorite and probably a lot of people's favorite. So this one's sponsored by Clev. So you can see that their rams are showcased here on top. It's designed to look like a old spacey computer. So you can see that this PC has been distressed. So it looks a little bit old and antique and it flips up. <gasps> so pretty. So it might look like just like for display, but it's actually a fully functional PC. So you can see inside, all of the parts are inside and fully functional. I really like this one. And then there's a lot of attention to detail here with the decals, the um, intake and exhaust fans also have a lot of heart into them. So each sticker is like stuck on there and designed all of the distressing, a lot of thought put into it. I think it's more like a art sculpture than a PC. This PC is sponsored by Bits Power. It also has a similar case as we saw prior by Sinister, but an ITX form factor. It's a little bit smaller and you can see very unique, also like explody out design. I really like how many fittings he used. There's so many fittings. And then this uh, CPU water block is also quite unique. So I'm super excited to be able to see it booted up in a couple days at Computex. But you'll probably see some B-roll right here. AK not only does like crazy, crazy builds, but he also does more simplistic ones like this. So something more achievable for maybe the standard consumer. These two are sponsored by Antec in their new cases. So you can see really showcasing the case, not too much complications with the um, design, but a lot of really, really clean tubing. As you can see, AK has been working really hard for this year's Computex. He'll be showcasing over 20 computers. We'll keep a lookout to see if we can showcase them during the actual convention, but some of these are really special. So sh special shout out to AK as well for letting us come into our studio. I don't know if very many people have filmed inside before, so it's really an honor for AK to show us around Taiwan and also take us around to the studio and give us a sneak peek before Computex. So. Thanks for joining us this time at Archetype Origins, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>